Jason Sari. Uh, we met Eli and Donna about uh, February of 2022. We had a really serious house fire in December of 2021 and uh, we're kind of traumatized by it. Um, and we were looking for contractors for quite a long time. I think we went through five or six interviews and the only people we ever felt comfortable with who kind of understood our situation and our plight were Eli and Donna. Like from the get-go, they completely saw what was going on. Um, I remember when Eli first came in the house and he was just like, this is way worse than you told me it was over the phone. Um, I think that's kind of what everybody's inclination was when they first saw it. But he, from the moment he stepped foot on our property, he had a great like, sense of humor about the situation, kind of made light of it, and uh, made us feel real comfortable on that they were gonna handle our build. Uh, I think the initial part that was like the most difficult situation was kind of seeing our house. Um, when we first got here, or when we first came back after the fire, I think I told Eli and Donna, like, I don't want to be here very much when it's in this state. Um, if they show you pictures, because I think they still have them. But we had to fully gut this house. Like, it was down to the studs. Um, so it was a really daunting task for them to come in and kind of figure out how to reconfigure an uh, almost 100-year-old house and kind of bring it into modern day. And this was also our first home. We had bought it, what, seven months prior yeah. to the house fire. So, um, yes, it was really devastating, but they, you know, were great to work with and, and just made the process so easy um, after going through something so traumatic. So I think we kind of had a thought process. We were originally, when we first bought the house, we had planned on doing some renovations from the get-go. Nothing as expensive as we ended up doing. But um, we had kind of a plan set in place or like a thought process and Donna really brought that to life. Um, like you'll see in the pictures in the video, like the uh, Peninsula Island that we put in with like the bench seating um, was kind of like a thought process between the three of us, kind of trying to make do with the limited space we have. It's only a 1400 square foot house, um, but we wanted to basically make the most use of that space. And Donna was super helpful in helping design the kitchen that we are like spending probably the most time in the house in. We were in a rental for the last year with a terrible kitchen. Katie complained that I would never cook just because it was awful. And now that we have our nice, beautiful kitchen, I'm, I'm in there cooking almost every day now. Yeah, Donna and Eli were so great coming to us with a couple different floor plan options. Um, like Devin said, we have a very small space. So just trying to figure out, you know, what we can do um, to maximize our 1,400 square foot house. Uh, and so yeah, so it was great working with them. And there's a lot of things that like, we never even thought of, like, you know, stacking our washer dryer in the hallway, kind of making it look like it's another cabinet, not something we had considered. The powder room addition, like we always thought we were gonna go from a two, one and a half to a three, two, but we made use of the space. Now we have like a guest powder room that's one of my favorite rooms in the house. Um, and adding a Jack and Jill bathroom to between our two guest bedrooms, also just huge maximization of the space and something unique and cool looking and kind of also keeping in touch with, you know, the history of the home. We put the arches in, um, you know, the, the cabinetry behind us also kind of just also makes everything feel like it's a Spanish style house. I think at the beginning when you see it down to studs and foundation, it's like daunting. You kind of think to yourself like, is this ever going to get finished? I remember when I first met Eli and he's like, oh, we could get this done in like six months. And I literally laughed at him when we had lunch with him. I was like, no chance is this happening. Yeah. No way. Let's see. Let's, let's see. Try. Let's see. Let's <laughs> see. Um, and to be perfectly honest, I think he probably would have got it done had our plans not taken so long to approve with the city of LA. It's just one of those things, uh, especially during last year, is crazy. Um, and from start to finish, I think it was about seven months. So we were back in our house basically a year to the day since it burned down, which is insane to me. And everyone we've talked to is like, I cannot believe your house has gotten finished that quickly. It's crazy to see how quickly they moved. And like I said, yeah, like Devin said, the neighbors even were commenting on how quickly things were, you know, moving. Every time we came to the house, it was just leaps and bounds. Yeah. Types, a bunch of stuff. So happened. much different from when we had been there the week before. Uh, what have I learned? Uh, be on the same page at all times so we don't have to incur change fees when my wife has a different thought uh, process than what she originally told me. Uh, I think it's just important to be on the same page with everyone, like everyone's kind of rowing the same direction and like having the same, you know,
know, timeline, thought process, and also just understanding that delays happen, changes happen, unforeseen circumstances happen. Like, we've probably spent more than we had originally anticipated, but it's because there were things that needed to be done the right way, and Eli was, you know, super adamant about that happening. And as much as I probably fought him on it, I, he's always been able to reason with me, which is not an easy feat, um, especially when it comes to spending more money. Um, but the things like, you know, the foundation, and, and yeah. like Devin said, this is a very old house, so... Um, and the carport was like completely damaged on the yeah. see beforehand, so like, just understanding that like, things, things are going to happen, things are going to come up, you know, you're always going to have to do more than you probably originally anticipated. We just love our house so much, and it wouldn't be this beautiful, and we wouldn't be this happy if it weren't for Eli and Donna. Yeah, for sure, it's just, it's way better than I think we could have ever imagined seeing what it came from and seeing what it is now. It's mind-blowing, like, my parents don't have the same design aesthetic as we do, but my dad, first when he walked in, he's just like, this is insane. He's like, everyone just loves the house, and we're so happy to be living in, back in our house. Yeah, we're so happy to be back.